All right, y'all, we are back with another video, and here we go again with corrupt Fanny Willis. I don't know why this woman thinks that she's out the blue, because this judge, Judge McAfee, is spineless, and he was scared to remove her because re-election was coming up, and he wants to be re-elected. We all know that's why he did that. He split the baby by... Uh, not removing her, then he let Donald Trump uh, appeal, which Trump shouldn't even had to appeal because this woman should have been removed. But this judge was spineless. So now we definitely finna go ahead and uh, dive straight into this one. Like I said before, this one right here is coming by Doug. And he said that DA Fannie Willis, desperate to rush back into Trump case. And that's what she's trying to do. They said that what she's trying to do now is trying to convince Judge McAfee to get this trial going this summer before a uh, re-election. Like, this woman is ridiculous. Like, you still got a chance of being removed. So I don't know why she's sitting up here trying to rush and think that she's out of the blue. Like, she just didn't got... Like, this woman lied under oath, took pack, uh, taxpayers' dollars, took a married man from his wife. I mean, just all type of stuff lied under oath and she still get to stay on this case it just goes to show you how spineless and how scared judge mcafee is but we definitely go ahead and dive straight into this y'all can please hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel make sure you turn on your notifications and like i said make sure y'all hit that like button so more people can see this video all right so without further ado let's go ahead and uh dive straight into it and let's see exactly what happened, y'all. Let's go. Well, today, Fonnie Willis thinks she's going back to court to mm -mm. prosecute Trump. Uh -uh. And Miss Merchant of the defense, of Mike Roman's defense, says not so fast, uh, Fanny. Uh, it's all going to come down to what Judge uh, McAfee does this Thursday. So let's get caught up here. There's two articles I'd like to present to you real quick. Oh, and welcome to Doug in Exile. Mm -hmm. I'm Doug Tenaple. This is where the happy patriots are. Come hang with us. Let's do the news together. You'll be all caught up on Sandy Willis by the time we're done. Let's this go. I'm just, uh, this is going to be a little one from ABC News right here. Trump election interference case picks back up after Fannie Willis disqualification bid. Judge Scott McAfee will hear motions Thursday from Trump and a co-defendant. Mm. The judge overseeing the former president Donald Trump's Georgia election interference case has scheduled a Thursday hearing to hear oral arguments on a number of motions from Trump and his co-defendant, David Schaefer. The hearing will be the first since the failed disqualification effort against Fulton County attorney Fonnie Willis, who brought the case. Not so fast, that's being appealed. Remember, comes mm -hmm. after Judge Scott McAfee granted Trump permission to appeal his disqualification ruling, but vowed to move the case forward in the meantime. So that's just one article, okay? That's just ABC's take. If I go over here to USA Today, there's a lot more meat on it. I, I don't want to read all of this. And look, there's a flash sale. Will Trump election fraud trial come before the election? Fannie Willis and defense lawyer clash. They disagree mm. on that. Let's get to it. Well, I mean, look, uh, if, if it can be done this summer, right, and her team is ready and all the defendants are ready and the judge is ready, uh, that would be a perfectly appropriate thing to do. The problem is that it is not entirely up to her. Um, Last summer, this case was filed, and it was already going to be ambitious, even at that point in time, to bring a case like this, 19 defendants, complicated issues, high-profile issues, novel issues, to trial in a year. I'll let you decide if she's going to, if you think she's going to make it by then. District Attorney Fonnie Willis, in her public comments, since avoiding being disqualified in Georgia election fraud, prosecution of Trump, mm -hmm. said she is ready to bring the former president and 14 co-defendants to trial well before the November 5th it's election. not going to happen. Not so fast, Fonnie. It doesn't mm -hmm. work that fast. I'll give you, I know that's her intention. She's going, quick, panic, get them back in court. Let's go. Mm -mm. At where we are now, there's still a bunch of pending issues, uh, significant pretrial issues. And of course, there's still um, the defendant's intended appeal from Judge McAfee's decision, allowing Willis and her office to stay on the case. The train is coming, Willis said. I understand the train is coming. We're ready. We will be ready whenever the case goes to trial. Uh In a weekend interview with CNN, hmm. prominent Georgia defense lawyer Ashley Merchant, so she's the blonde lady that we saw yeah. uh, defending uh, Mike Roman, who first disclosed Willis's romantic relationship with prosecutor Nathan Wade, 
back in a bombshell January 8th court filing says, not so fast, Not Fanny. so fast. We're ready, Merchant said Monday in response to Willis's comments at a charity Easter egg hunt Saturday in Atlanta. But Merchant, who represents one of Trump's 14 co-defendants in the election subversion case, said in an interview Monday that an appeal of a Georgia's ruling rejecting Willis's disqualification likely will take many months and will push the trial back past the November election that will likely uh, will pit Trump against President Joe Biden. She represents Trump 2020 campaign official Michael Roman, who's charged with conspiring with local Trump supporters in Georgia and Washington, D.C. to overturn the election. Trump lost to Biden in the peach state in 2020. <laughs> so the ca case is now going to go up to the Court of Appeals. The Court of Appeals can decide. They can either send it back and say, you know what, you are disqualified. You need a new prosecutor. They can send it back and say, Judge McAfee, you actually made some errors. We think the actual, um, in, in, you know, improprieties here is enough and tell him to go ahead and fix it. Or they could say, we're not going to dec decide this. And then it's going to go up to the Supreme Court. Days later, McAfee, McAfee, Sorry, I've had you guys correct me on the pronunciation of his name, that it's McAfee. I've been doing it, I, too. I, I, I botch it all the time, okay? But I, I may never correct it. Days later, McAfee allowed Trump and at least eight other co-defendants to take an emergency appeal on this ruling to the Georgia uh, State Court of Appeals. The defense lawyers, including Marchant and Steve Sadow for Trump, he's the pit bull, not only want Willis and her entire office thrown off the case, but the charges dismissed altogether, as some of them petitioned in their initial court uh, motions back in January. So they could try to run the appeals this Thursday and just dump her off the case. We'll see what McAfee said. Yeah, well, we're going to see exactly what's going to happen. Is this judge going to be spineless again? Because like I said, we still got to keep in the fact that re-election is coming up and he wants to be re-elected. So he's just trying to do, he pretty much trying to do everything he can to kind of get himself out of the blue. Like, you know what? I don't want nothing to do with this. So that's the reason why he's kind of scared. Seems like he's scared of Fannie Willis. You let this woman throw papers in the courtroom. You let her lie on the oath. You knew she took taxpayers' dollars. She took a married man from his wife. I mean, just all type of stuff. And this judge sits up there and does nothing about it. Just let her do it. Because you remember Judge Janine went off on the judge say, how can, uh, she said won't, no other judge would allow a person like that to come in his courtroom and disrupt that courtroom like that. And he let Fannie Willis do that. Let her do it. And we knew it was going to be some kind of dumb ruling that he was going to be scared to remove this woman. We all had that feeling because he donated to her campaign. His wife donated to his campaign. On top of that, the election coming up. Remember, more people wanted to testify because they overheard her talking to Terrence Bradley about, you better not say nothing. Don't tell them nothing. Like, this judge had all that evidence and still let her stay on the case. Because that's pretty much what she did because you knew good well she wasn't going to remove herself from the case and leave Nathan Wade on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was basically a toss-up. He could have just came out himself and said, you know what, Nathan Wade, you gone. Fanny, you can stay on the case. He should have just did that. So he pretty much just said, I'm, you know what? I'm going to let her choose. That That's crazy. We all knew she wasn't going to remove herself. But she thinks she's out of the blue. And Ashley Merchant like said, uh-uh. Not so fast, Fanny. You ain't getting no trial done this summer. Yes. Why Willis thinks the trial could still go before Election Day? In her exclusive interview on CNN Saturday, Willis acknowledged that the election racketeering case against Trump and others was clouded by more than two months of legal, legal wrangling over the motion to disqualify her. Through it all, however, Willis and her team never stopped working on the underlying case. No trial date has been set, and Willis said there's no reason to delay it. No, my team has been working, continuing to work on the case, and all the while that was going on, we were writing responses and briefs. We were still doing the case in the way that it needed to be done, she said. I don't feel like we've been slowed down at all. <laughs> oh, man, is she delusional. I'm telling so, you. So, you know, it's not going to be decided quickly. It's going to take at least a couple months for this to work its way through the system to determine whether or not she actually is disqualified. Okay, so does this happen before the election? 
I don't see any way that this could happen before the election. I do think there hmm. are efforts to slow down this train. See, that's why Fannie Willis is mad because she want this to she want this to go to trial before election. That's what she want. She want to be the woman that took out Donald Trump. She want to be the woman that prosecuted Donald Trump. But I got news for you, Fannie. It's not happening. It's not happening. It's not going to happen. And that's exactly what she wants. She want to be the woman, feel like she the woman that saved the day. I took down Donald Trump. She think taking down Donald Trump is going to get her reelected. She better be worried about that because she could be removed that way. <laughs> so she better be worried about Courtney, be worried about Courtney Kramer. That's what she need to be worried about. But the train is coming, she says, and Fanny's the caboose. Mm. Lawyers for Trump and other defendants have 10 days from McAfee's ruling to file an appeal. That's coming. Then the Georgia Appellate Court has 45 days to decide whether to even hear the appeal. So unless they smack it down fast, this is 45 days out, uh, even if they make a decision this week. If the appeals court agrees to hear the case, it could potentially disqualify Willis and the entire Fulton County District Attorney's Office, or it could uh, order other fixes or uphold McAfee's ruling and allow the case to go forward. So guys, we're talking 45 days out if mm -hmm. they agree uh, to have the appeal and they can sit there and just sit on it forever. And by the way, I think still the stench in the air is Letitia James. I think the appeals court in New York smacking her down for a massive overreach, cutting that bond amount for Trump yep. in, less than in half Mm -hmm. hundred something uh, million dollars instead of four hundred and fifty million dollars. Yep. So, and giving him ten extra days, that I think that could waft over here to Fulton County, Georgia, where McAfee goes. I don't want to be another Democrat judge, uh, just being reversed by an appellate court. And the reason why that one is particularly important is a very is a very practical reason. I'm mm -hmm. sure folks will immediately recognize the judge is not going to want to have a trial if the verdict from that trial later needs to be thrown out because the prosecutor on the case was disqualified in the uh, in the interim. So he might be very likely to help push Trump up to the appellate court. So yep. he's not going to want to have a trial mm -hmm. before that is fully resolved at the appeal level because it would be a waste of time and it would be bad for him personally mm -hmm. if he got reversed and the trial was meeting. And say, yeah, let the big boys up there take this on. Yep. A lot of lawyers have suspected that's what McAfee was doing all along, that he was trying to get it out of his hands. I just said that. Y'all remember, I just said that he was just trying to get it out of his hands. And that's the reason why everybody kept saying all he did was just split the baby because he wanted nothing to do with it. He tried to, What he tried to do was be fair to both sides. But he knew he had to remove Fannie Willis, Aiden Nathan. He knew he had to do that. So he just said, you know what? I bet you that's what he did. He talked to his family and said, you know what? I'm going to make her, I'm going to let her give her the option to remove herself or Nathan Wade. And then I know Trump them going to appeal. So I'm going to let them appeal and just get it out of my hands so I can be up for re-election. And, and people will still vote for me because I didn't remove Fannie Willis. That's where his whole play was. He wanted to get everything out of his hands. He wanted nothing to do with it. That's why we called him spineless. He was scared. He had all the evidence in the world to get rid of this woman, and he did not. He did not. And I'm going to keep saying it. Well, I got to keep saying it every freaking video. He want, He did this. He made that move because he wants to be reelected. He went to talking about, I ain't doing this because of politics. And that was a lie. Yes, he was. He was doing this for politics because he wants to be reelected. And I stand on that. If it gets appealed, uh, Fani, you're not going to be uh, prosecuting a RICO case against Trump and his buddies. It's not. I don't think it's going to happen, but let's find out. I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Is this going to appeal or is Fanny going to get her day in court and start hitting Trump? You guys already know. Hey, we already know, Doug. <laughs> we already know. But like I said, that was another great video by Doug. Like I said, uh, the original video of his will be in the description. Make sure y'all go to Doug's channel. Let him know that I sent you. Make sure y'all go show some love. It will be in the description. But wait, like I said, 
another great video from Doug. Like I said before, this woman is just it's just ridiculous, man. She thinks she finna get a trial before November. She she, she want to be the woman. I'm telling you, she's trying to get some praises, boy. She want to be the woman that took out Donald Trump. That's what she want. Cause she thinks she's out the blue after she didn't did all this messed up stuff. Like, nah, it ain't over with yet. Y'all heard what Ashley Merchant said and you heard what the pit bull Steve said. I said, it ain't over yet. But like I said, thank you all for watching. Be sure to hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel and I catch y'all in the next one.